This market's on fire. This girl is on fire. Guys, I suck at life because I'm in cryptocurrency. Are you in crypto? Let me tell you about it. It's, it's a wonderful place to be if you enjoy getting burnt. Burnt, burnt, burnt. That's a story. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a series of news events. If you feel like you just kept, you just keep getting burnt, you go to the oven, you touch it, boom, it's hot. You go back again, it's hot. It gets hotter and hotter. And here you are still in cryptocurrency if you're in Drip, OPT3, any of these DeFi plays, we're going to talk about all that and how I think this whole market is going to shape into all of that crap. So check this out. If you're in DeFi, you are in the wild, wild west. I've said it before. This is a freaking casino. And guess what? Casinos are getting wrecked today. Ladies and gentlemen, Bitcoin down to 16,766, another 52 week low. You look at trending and you go, oh, what's going on here? Why is BNB and FTX coin trending? I'll tell you why. Fears that BNB could be the next FTX. Remember in crypto, you don't need facts, you just need fear. And if you get enough fear, people will move their currencies off these exchanges, they'll put them into a stable coin. What's going to happen with USDT? Nobody's even talking about that. Um, it, this could be the thing, the dominoes effect. You go, what are you What are you talking about, bro? Are you just causing fear and FUD? No. You have Celsius, Luna, Voyager. Now you have FTX. That equals PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Do you think a lot of people want to stick around and leave their bags so that they're the last one standing? No. A lot of people are selling their coins. They're getting them off these exchange. Not your coins, not your wallet. And I would encourage you to do the same. If you've got coins that are on FTX, you might want to get them on your cold storage. I'm sorry. That's the way it is. You have to look out for yourself right now. Um, I, I just, it's unbelievable what's happening. So let me cover the news of the day and we'll talk about like, look at guys, I know you you guys love that you're in drip, you know, and you think that drip is just its island of its own. You think OPT3 is an island of its own. Um, you know, the price is 280 today, okay? Uh, so you've got all of this happening in, at once. You got EMP will be affected by this because it's, you know, pegged with Ethereum. You've got, I don't know. Uh, it's, you know, OPT3. Let's look at OPT3. There it is. 83 cents. Now, will it rebound? I don't know. But to say that all these projects are independent of what's going on right here, you're crazy. Why? Because mass fear in crypto markets means people take the risk off the table. They either get in stable coins or they just get out in general. Now, I think there's an element of that happening for sure. Right here, Binance is said to likely back out of the FDX bailout deal. This news hit earlier today, causing a sell-off on Bitcoin, on crypto. And uh, it's, you know, it's sitting at 16,700 at the time of this video. It went down to 16,400 and something today. Then you've got on top of that, a macro environment where there's mass layoffs being announced. This is the beginning of more to come. Oftentimes the tech sectors lead the way. Facebook announcing layoffs, Twitter announcing layoffs, Google, Apple, freeze, Apple, uh, an employment freeze. So this stuff is going to continue to happen. Um, you got Elon here, you know, who sold shares of Tesla, causing major FUD around Tesla. Guys, I buy and hold Tesla. I don't worry about it. I'm, I'm in it for five years from now. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, he probably had to recuperate some money to cover expenses at Twitter to close the deal. He didn't get as many partners as he may have assumed. And uh, yeah, so the rumor is there he is. He sold 19.5 million of his shares. And uh, so you got all these negative headwinds, guys. It just keeps adding up. Let's look at real estate. Moody's Analytics predicts 196 housing markets to see a home price decline greater than 10%. Okay, this is the reality of where we're at. You and I are in crypto. It is an asset class that is hyper volatile. Okay, so if you see the crypto market, if you see the real estate market, the stock market falling, sure enough, crypto is going to feel the pain even more. A lot of us are in coins that are down 50 to 90% just this year alone. So if you feel sad, if you feel depressed, like I feel that too, um, you know, today I sold some BNB. Um, my plan is to just, you know, get it into BUSD, get it into cash. You have to have a six month uh, war reserve for your life. Make sure you have that because you cannot count. Like my brother texted me today and he's like, hey, man. Um, I, you know, I have to pay off these bills, you know, and I was expecting crypto to go up. And I'm like, crypto ain't going up to all-time highs, nothing until like one or two years from now. 
you know? So you better have a stockpile of cash um, just to make sure that you're okay. Planning on OPT3 to take you to the moon or, you know, any of these sexy new projects. Guys, it's like going to a casino and thinking I'm going to get rich. You know, Forex is not here to bail you out. DeFi dude, as great as you might think Forex and DeFi do all these, they're not going to pay your bills. So this video is to say, if you're burnt, I feel it too. It sucks. Being in crypto right now, max fear. It's the reality of where we're at. Now, some of you, I put a poll in my Telegram and I asked a number of you guys, what do you guys think? Are we buying the dip today? Um, are we selling secretly? Are we believing that FTX is only the beginning of things to come and you're like running to the hills right now? Just know whatever you decide to do, it's your life. Don't let anybody make fun of you. Don't let anybody put you down. Okay, because as long as you play the game to protect yourself, your family, your income, that's fair. Now, what am I doing? Like I said, I sold some BNB. Luckily, in my Telegram, if you're part of the Drip Farm community, I announced last week at 320 to take some BNB profits. I sold, uh, I believe I sold a third, a third to half of my bag of BNB. So thousands of dollars at really a close to the top. Glad about that. Today, I also sold some BNB. Do I believe that BNB is just going to collapse? Binance is going to collapse? I don't, I don't think so, okay? But I'm not going to sit around and wait for Binance to announce we're pausing withdrawals because of the FTX news and all that, you know? So I have $10,000 coming to me from my Binance exchange. I'm going to get more in cash. Um, I just believe until the Fed reverses, until they reverse their rate hikes, and I don't believe they'll do that until probably February, then we are going to continue to see a Fed-induced recession. There will be max fear in the markets. There will be more fear. Pricing uh, in, the, in the real estate market will continue to drop as people's purchasing power goes away. When you raise interest rates, remember, uh, that affects people in the amount of house they can afford. So a lot of people are just sitting on the sidelines. They don't want to go get a mortgage at a high interest rate. They'll stay in the house they have, less houses on the market. It's There's a lot of fear going on. And maybe you're like, yeah, but when people are greedy, you sell. And when people are fearful, you buy. That principle is true. But remember, these are macroeconomic headwinds that are unique right now because of where we're at with the Fed uh, trying to combat inflation, inflation at an all-time high, multiple decades, it's all-time high. So you have to understand the macro environment before you just focus, zoom in on like drip. Drip's going to go to 50 bucks. Drip's going to go like, stop, just stop. There's a lot going on here. And so I'm not telling you, you know, I haven't sold any of my drip or, you know, I'm not panicking, selling, I'm not doing any of that, but I am getting some profits. Things that I'm in profit on, I'm getting it and I'm not leaving it on an exchange. It's either in my cold wallet or it's uh, it's in my MetaMask or it's in my bank account. So just be mindful of that. Now, if you're totally depressed, um, I want you to hang in there because these, these sell-offs happen a lot and they're often followed by like spikes back. Like, you know, I'm not saying all-time highs, but just hang in there. And if you are planning on holding Bitcoin and Ethereum for years and years to come, then just close the laptop. Don't look at the charts. Just buy, hold, and relax. That's what I'm doing. I'm not selling any of my Bitcoin. I'm not selling any of my Ethereum. Just leave it alone, okay? Um, I saw today that Elon filed for Twitter payments. So it sounds like they're in motion of doing payments online. I would assume one day part of Twitter payments will include cryptocurrency, specifically Dogecoin. And any news like that, guys, from a big guy like Elon, a big company like Twitter, it's going to cause cryptocurrency to become sexy again. Right now, it's not sexy. It's dangerous. It's wild, wild west. And honestly, like, I hope all this FTX, Celsius, Voyager drama gets the U.S. government involved in crypto. Stop just looking at us as the idiots that are trying to, like, skip not paying taxes or whatever. Like, 
be involved in your people. The people want a digital currency. We're, we, we want it to work. Give us some regulation, okay? So regulation is good. It's like, imagine saying, oh, I don't want any regulations. It's DeFi, baby. That's like saying, I want to go outside driving and not have any stop signs, any stop lights, you know, any crosswalks. I don't want any of that. Don't, that's the government. The government is the one that installs those stoplights, forcing us to stop on a red. Screw that. I want to live in a utopia. There's no such thing. Humans are designed. I almost said design. Humans are designed for law and order. And we need law and order in crypto. And, and, and until there's law and order and regulation, listen, I'm saying it first. I'm not putting any more of my money in cryptocurrency. I'm going to play with what I've got in. But until we get regulation... Like, this is just a casino. Hear me out. And every YouTuber telling you this project's going to the moon, that project's going to the moon, keep them accountable, okay? Because they have a bag. They have a bag in their project. They see everything through a rose-colored lens, and they're going to tell you to pump, 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 don't sell, don't sell, because it affects them. And it's fine to be bullish on whatever project you're in, you know? If you're a long-termer and you believe this is going to be around in the next bull run, like I've just been around multiple bull runs now since 2017, and I know that the flashy project in 2017 wasn't the flashy project in the next bull market, okay? It just isn't. So be careful. Do what's right for you. I know this isn't a popular perspective. You guys want me just to shill and tell you all positive stuff. But if you listen to me, you got to protect yourself, your family. Don't get... You know, there's there's some YouTubers that use Christianity, um, which I was my background was in that. And they leverage that and say, we're going to make passive income streams and trust the Lord. And we're going to use these dApps to do it. If you're still, you know, doing online stuff like really the, the play is over here in DeFi. This is where you make your bag. Like, how is that working for you? Ninety percent of projects that launch will fail. So teaching people to trust God and to just keep investing in DeFi you're crazy. And to leverage God as if he's going to cause a bailout is so silly. It's ridiculous. It's like me praying, hey, God, I'm going to the casino today. Would you bless the blackjack table that I sit at? Just bless the blackjack dealer's hands. Give me your favor, Lord. Like, screw off. Stop talking like that. Stop misleading people. This is an effing casino. There's no regulation. There's no Walmart support. Okay? That's a tough truth. So when you see me covering videos and I'm, I'm in risk capital, my risk tolerance might be greater than yours. Think with your head, guys. Be very, very careful in markets like this. Now, with that said, you're all going to interpret that as, oh, he's fudding or he's selling. No. I took a little bit of profits in BNB today, um, around like 290. And uh, I, I might come back in. They're just sitting in BUSD right now. I might get it off. And I might actually look at buying um, some more assets like Tesla on these massive dips. You know, uh, I think the FUD around Elon buying Twitter is awesome because it changes nothing about the fundamentals of Tesla. So it just gives me a discount to buy more. I think Elon, um, if I, if I want to bet on somebody in life, I'm going to bet on Elon. He's the best, smartest business guy, engineer, inventor, technologist in the world. Uh, everything he touches has succeeded. So I'll just go with that guy. So I'm looking to buy dips now in Google, Meta. I bought $10,000 worth of Meta. I'm already up a thousand bucks on that. So that's what I'm doing. Like I'm looking at the dips in real world assets like Google, Facebook, you know, Apple. And I'm thinking, man, now I'm going to look back and go like, why didn't you buy more of these companies? Do you think that Apple's going to outlive Drip? Do you think that Google might survive OPT3? I'm not saying anything about Drip or OPT3. I'm just saying, where does your confidence lie? So I'm spreading the wealth around. I'm going more into buying stocks right now than I am launching and starting the next projects. All that to say, hopefully you're not too discouraged. You hang in there. Um, I'll be here. We can talk more about what's going on in the macro markets. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, all that crap. And we will see you. Hang in there, guys. We'll see you in the next one.